obscene joke. Let's end it while we have some sanity and decency left. Is that the best you can do in the way of sanity and decency? To talk like that? You'd like to cover it up with pretty words, wouldn't you? Well, we've had enough of that. God, I feel as though my face was covered with spider webs. I gotta brush it off and get clean again. It's not my fault you've got weak nerves. Why don't you try to behave like a gentleman? A gentleman? Helen would have strangled you years ago. I suppose you blame me for your ideas. I'm past blaming anybody, even myself. Helen, don't you realize that this has got to stop? We're cutting each other to pieces with knives. You want me to go? Or I'll go. It makes no difference. Only we've got to separate definitely and forever. You really think there's no possibility of us finding some way? We've found some way, Helen, twice before, and this is what it comes to. This is the end. Yes, only... Only what? It seems such a pity. Pity? The pity is this, that we should sit here and haggle about our hatred. I won't haggle, Paul. If you want us to part, then we shall this very night. But I don't want to part this way. I want to be forgiven before I go. Can't we finish without another sentimental lie? That was unjust, Paul. You know I don't mean that. What I want is to make you understand so you won't hate me. More explanations. I thought we had both got tired of them. I used to think it possible to heal a wound with words, but we ought to know better. Please, Paul. Paul, this is the last time we shall ever hurt each other. Won't you listen to me? Go on. I know you hate me. You have the right to. Not just because I was faithless, but because I was cruel. I didn't know what I was doing. I don't want to excuse myself, but I didn't realize I was hurting you. We've gone over that a thousand times. Yes, you said that before. You said that I excused my hope for the first time, but not for the second and third. Now I want you to know the real reason. A new reason, eh? Something I've never confessed to you. Yes. It is true. I was cruel to you, deliberately. And do you know why? I wanted to shatter that Olympian serenity of yours. You were too strong, too self-confident. You had the air of a being nothing could hurt. You were like a god. That was a long time ago. Was I ever Olympian? I had forgotten. <laughs> you shattered it in me. Yes, you are still Olympian. And I hate you for it. I wish I could make you suffer now, but I have lost my power to do that. Aren't you contented with what you've done? No! It seems to me that I've suffered enough recently to Or you couldn't satisfy. talk like that! You sit there, making phrases. Oh, I have hurt you little, but you will recover. You've always recovered quickly, because you are not human. If you were human, you would realize that we were once happy, and be a little sorry that this is all over. But no, you can't be happy. You've made up your mind can think nothing but that. More explanations. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> I wonder if I can't make you understand. Paul, do you remember when we fell in love? Something of that sort must have happened to us. It happened to me. It didn't happen to you. You made up your mind and walked in ere I forgot on a holiday. It was I who fell headlong, dizzy, blind, I didn't want to love you. It was a force too strong for me. But I suffered rather than let you suffer. <clears throat> Very fine. Only it wasn't true as you soon found out. And when the next time came, I wanted to see if it was real. I wanted to tear off the mask. It was a force too strong for me. I couldn't handle it, for my heart was no longer in my own breast. It was in your hands to do whatever you liked with. You could have thrown it in the dust. This is all very romantic and exciting, but tell me, did I throw it in the dust? It pleased you not to. You put it in your pocket. But don't you realize what it is to feel that another person has absolute power over you? No, for you have never felt that way. You have never known what it is to feel dependent on someone. I was utterly dependent on you. It humiliated me, angered me. I rebelled against it, but it was no use. You see, my dear, I was in love with you. And your heart was free, and your heart was your own, and nobody could hurt you. And that is why I was cruel to you the second time. And the third time? What about that? I can't talk about that. It's too... It's too weird. I bet.
beg your pardon? I don't wish to show an unseemly curiosity in your private affairs. If you were human, you would realize that there's a difference between one class love and all that have gone before. I can talk about the others. This one still hurts. I see. Should we chance to meet sometime next year, you'll tell me about it then. The joys of the new love will have healed the pains of the old. There will be no more joy or pain of love for me. You do not believe that. But the part of me which loves is dead. Do you think I have come through all this unhurt? No, I cannot hope anymore. There is nothing left for me. All I have left is regret for the happiness that you and I have spoiled between us. gods, and we could do whatever we chose. If we had realized we were only weak human beings, we might have saved our happiness. We tried to reckon with facts. I cannot blame myself for that. The facts of human nature? People do have love affairs within love affairs. I was not faithful to you. But you had the decency to be dishonest about it. You did not tell me the truth. In spite of all your theories, I might have never found out. Be careful, my dear. You're contradicting yourself. I know I am. I don't care. I no longer know what the truth is. All I know is that I have regret for everything that has happened. Oh, why did it happen? Why did we let it happen? Why didn't you stop me? I want it back. But, but Helen... Yes, our old happiness. Don't you remember how beautiful everything was. Get back to me. Do you really believe, Helen? We must be happy again. And we must have it again, just as it was. Paul. Paul. Let me think. Oh, you're thinking. Oh, I know. Then think. Think of all the times I've been cruel to you. Think of my wantonness, my wickedness, not of my poor, tormented attempts at happiness. My lovers, yes. Think hard and save yourself from any more discomfort. But you're in no danger. You haven't been believing anything I've been saying this whole time, have you? Almost. Then don't. I still lie. Again? Again, yes. I should have suspected it. I was afraid you did want me, and I was sorry for you, Paul. So that was it. Yes, that was it. You needn't say any more. Will you go, or shall I? Before I go, shouldn't I tell you the secret of the third time? Just as you please. Why do you need I had learned what it is to love, and I knew that I had never loved you, never. I wanted to hurt you so much that you would leave me. I was afraid that if you did forgive me and take me into your arms, that you would see me shudder and see the terror and loathing in my eyes. Are you going? first